Welcome everyone to our Jet Report Success webinar series. Thank you for coming. Today's presentation will be on the Jet Web Portal. Uh, just a few quick housekeeping notes. First of all, everyone is on mute to avoid any extraneous noise. So uh, to make sure you can hear me, could somebody please type some information into the chat window so I know that I can be heard? Wonderful, wonderful. All right, thank you. Okay, so during our webinar, if you would like to ask questions, please type them in the webinar question box. I won't be able to monitor those during the presentation itself, but I will certainly try to get to them at the end. My name is Harry Lewis, and I have been with Jet Reports for a little over seven years now in a variety of roles, and I'm currently our technical content developer, meaning I create many of our online tutorial videos and knowledge base articles. The purpose of these monthly sessions is to help you, our customers and partners, be successful with our entire suite of products. Each session will be on the second Thursday of the month at 9 a.m. Pacific Time. Now that you've registered for this session, you should be able to see all upcoming sessions on your calendar. If not, please make sure you re-register. For next month's session, Brian Robinson will look at designing and preparing your reports for use by non-report designers. Then in October, we'll be taking a look at the pre-built reports that are available for jet professional users. You'll learn where to find those reports, how to modify them for your specific needs, and everything that you need in that regard. We hope to see you in these upcoming sessions. If you can't make it to one of the sessions, please be sure to check out the recording you can find those in our online knowledge base at kv.jetreports.com. If we happen to run out of question and answer time today, I'll include the responses as part of this month's video there. Today, we'll look at what Jet Reports is, give you an introduction to our main products. Then we'll go into depth about today's workforce and how you can use the Jet Web Portal to help address the needs of that workforce with accessible reports and dashboards. Since 2002, Jet Reports has been providing reporting and business analytics tools designed specifically around the Microsoft ERP solutions, Dynamics NAV, GP and AX, and are now compatible with a wide variety of other systems as well. Currently, over 10,000 companies in 94 countries use Jet Reports products for their reporting needs. As you can see from this small sample, the Jet Reports products are used in a wide variety of industries, and we thank all of you for making Jet Reports part of your everyday productivity. I'm speaking to you from our headquarters in Portland, Oregon. In addition, we also have 14 regional offices around the world to provide timely service and support. Today, I'll be focusing on the Jet Web Portal, part of Jet Professional. Jet Professional is a fast and flexible reporting tool which leverages all the power and experience you have using Microsoft Excel. In addition, as we'll see in a few minutes, for those organizations using Jet Enterprise, the web portal also provides access to their Jet Enterprise dashboards. Jet Enterprise provides you with the ability to tie together multiple sources of data and information and make that quickly available to your workforce through Jet dashboards, Excel reports, and within Microsoft Power BI. That's so important because today's workforce is more mobile than ever before, and that's just going to continue and evolve even faster. Your users want the information they want, when and where they want it. And by using the Jet Web Portal to access your Jet Professional and Jet Enterprise resources, you can give them exactly that. So, let's take a look. So here we have a JET report in a familiar Excel environment. We can refresh this, we can come in, we can adjust the slicers, we can see the changes that it makes to the report and get them updated. And that's great when we're sitting at our computer, at our desk, at work. But what happens when we're on a trip and still need access to our reports? We could keep copies of the reports on our laptop, but that doesn't mean that when we're away, we still have access to the data. And what happens if the official report back at the office is updated and we still have an older version on our machine? That's where the Jet Web Portal comes in. 
we can start up our internet browser, access the JET web portal, which has been set up on an internet server. Once we've signed in, we see the reports that we've already uploaded. In this case, I have a few sitting here in a separate folder for my financials. And here is that top customer over report that we were just looking at in Excel. Let's go ahead and open this up right within our browser. So Excel Online comes up, and here is that same report. I can interact with it just like I did with the other one, changing the slicers, and we can see that the results get updated. Before we get too involved in what we can do within the Jet Web Portal itself, let's take a moment to see how we can place our reports in the portal. So going back to Excel, let's grab a different report here. All I need to do is from the Jet Ribbon is click Publish. Now I have the option of giving it a specific name, choosing the folder I want to place it in, I'll just keep it here, and giving it a description. Once everything here is as I want, I simply click Publish. I'm told that it's being published and to go to the web portal to see it. So I'll pop back to my portal. I can just refresh this. And there's this new report that I just uploaded. It's that simple. Now, I can also upload reports from within the portal itself. I simply choose Upload. I'll be prompted for what data source and company I want to use. I'll just select that. That's fine. And then I can select a variety of things that I want to have within my portal. Those then get brought in, and I can work with them just like I do within Excel and be able to view the data. So that, simply put, is how to bring them in. So if I take a look at this one that we were looking at earlier, and I highlight here, I see it's not being shared with anyone. OK, let's change that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over here to Details. And I see more information about the report. If I pop over here to Sharing, again, it's not shared with anyone. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to add someone. At this point, I can share this report with anyone in the organization who has been set up to use the JetWeb portal. In this case, I'm just going to select everyone, say OK. And we see that's now changed. The report is now shared. Everyone, who, when they log into the web portal, will be able to see that report and run it for themselves. Also on this screen, I can take a look at various other things, such as the number of times this report has been put into the portal. I can see that currently I've got version 3. It's been put in three times. I can look at the run history. I can see that, OK, I have ran it a couple times the first version. There was the second version of the run once. And right now, the current version that I have up and running is the third version. Also on this, I can go to Schedule. And what Schedule shows me is all the tasks that I have scheduled that involve this specific report. Now, in this case, there are none. So, speaking of scheduled tasks, let's go there next. The scheduler is just a very simple interface that provides us with the ability to configure one or more reports to run with their default settings on a schedule that we can configure. So if we were to create a new task, for example, let's give this one a name. I want it to run, say, weekly. And I want it to run on Monday morning. So I'm just going to choose next Monday at 5 AM so that it's ready when I come into the office. I want to run every Monday. I simply need to give it my password. Let's save our settings so far and move to the next tab. We'll add our top customer report and save this setting. If we wanted to send an email notification when the task is complete, we could do so. We'll just leave it as is to run the report each Monday morning. Now, if you are a JET Enterprise user, you're aware of the fact that we have the JET Dashboard Builder. This allows us to create dashboards based on our JET Enterprise data. Those can be viewed in the JET Web Portal by anyone, not just designers who can use the Dashboard Builder. And so if I go into Dashboards, 
I see those same dashboards and I can open them up and interact with them. So if I open this one, I can go in, I can change the slicers, I can see how everything changes in real time with the data I want. Likewise, I can go into a specific visual. I can zoom in so I can see that in more detail. I can scroll through these various images. I can take a look at the data as I want. I can jump around and take a look at the various things. And I can open up any of the dashboards that have been made available to me. Now let's take a look for a moment. Let's suppose that uh, I want to have these new reports that I've uploaded. And I want my customer reports, let's say I want these two, in my customer folder. That's simply a matter I've selected them and I've come over here and I can drop them directly into that folder. If I change my mind, I can navigate in that folder. Let's say I want this one to go elsewhere. I can come down and select Move. I can then select the folder where I want it to go. Let's go ahead and just go at the top level for Reports. And I can move it there. And if I go back to my Reports, it's back there where I put it. Now we can see that some reports aren't shared. We can see the stats report. For instance, since I just uploaded this one, it hasn't been run yet. This one has been run. If I wanted to refresh that, I click come down here, click on Run. I'll just keep those default settings for now. Go ahead and run that report. I don't have to wait for that. I could come and run this next one if I wished. There, it's completed. If I were to go in and look at the details, I can see that there's a new run just now, today's date, and it's still based on the current version of the report. If at some point I wanted to revert back to a different version of the report, or I decided, oh, no, a change was made in version 3 that I didn't want. I actually want to go back to version 1. I can do that. I can click that in the versions. Let's go here. And I can say Restore. And this will make that the current version of the report. Essentially, it will create a new version, version 4. Likewise, if I'm looking at the versions that I've run, all of these are accessible to me because it's keeping track of every single run. If I want to go and open this one, I can. If I want to open this one, I can and open it online. Likewise, I can also download them and open them up in Excel locally on my machine. If I want to make a change to a report or the design of it, I can do that by simply downloading it and then open it up in Excel on my machine, make the changes, and republish it. All right. That, in a nutshell, in a very quick nutshell, is the JetWeb portal. So I'd be happy to answer any questions. So let's come in here. I'll look and see what's been asked so far. How are users authenticated? Is the portal single sign-on compatible? What is the SSO authentication methods also? Are the NAV users security specific? Okay, thank you, Kimberly. It's a great question. So the authentication is based on Active Directory. So it's using my Windows authentication to get in. Yes, the NAV user credentials are respected. So essentially, I have to have access into the NAV software itself. Whatever permissions I have there are also reflected in what I can do. So. If I'm running a NAV report, it's NAV permissions. If I'm running a report based on another type of data source, it's based on that. I simply mention NAV because that's what I'm using right here. So yes, absolutely. So the question is, so in Jet Web Portal, user can run Jet and query the data through actual database. That's correct, John. When I'm refreshing these reports, I'm refreshing them against the actual database that has been set up. It's been configured by my administrator within the JET Administration Console. And any data source that I have access to, I'm able to run reports for that data source. As you can see, the web portal is not complex. It's actually a very simple tool. But what it is, is it allows you to do a great deal. And the main thing is here is I'm not tethered to my desk in order to run my reports. Because it is on a web server, I have access through that. I'm able to refresh my reports. I'm able to run them. I'm able to view them without rerunning them and just see what the results are. So I always have access to that information.
It also gives me the ability to very easily compartmentalize some of my reports with the folders. It allows me to exercise a great deal of control over them and be able to access that information on a regular basis. Can we make the dashboards publicly available? The reason is we want to make them available through our intranet. Absolutely. Once the dashboards are published from within the dashboard builder, so I can save them and make them available, they are then available within the web portal. So as long as you are licensed for Jet Enterprise and as long as you are licensed to use the mobile information, then you are able to see those from within the web portal itself. Mark has asked the question, can you use the NP code unit function in the portal environment? I don't believe that is currently supported, Mark. It's obviously something that we're looking at doing. But because you would have to have actually direct access into the client, not just the database, that's not something that I believe is currently supported, but obviously something we're looking at. But thank you for the question. By the way, in our online knowledge base, you can always look at what is and is not supported as far as that is concerned. We do keep that up to date as best we can. You're welcome, Genesis. All right. Well, I would like to thank everyone for being here. Again, please don't forget about our upcoming sessions. As I mentioned, next month is on report distribution for viewers, how you can manage and package up your reports so that they're not just available to designers, but for everyone. And then in the month after that, we'll be looking at our pre-built reports and the various tools around that and how to use those. So on behalf of Jet Reports, thank you all for coming. And we hope that this helps you and that was useful information.